Everybody, it's Jenny with I Love You More Than Gumbo, where I like to do TV hauls lately. That seems to be the flavor of the month or two. And today I've got a little something extra in the mix. I've also got a Mighty Fix um, subscription that came in today, and my Del Sol Solis replacement came in. So we're going to talk about that. But the order of the day is. Timu. So let's get to what my Timu order was that was on the porch. You know how I love that. And if you notice, if you watched my last uh, weekend, Memorial Day weekend haul, you saw this little gadget here that I seem to have fallen in love with. It's a little magnetic eyeglasses holder. So let's put on my glasses and get down to it. I ordered yet another fan because I gave one of my fans to my stepdaughter so I ordered another fan because little miss Isabella and I are going on a cruise in a couple of weeks so I need another fan because you can't just have one fan in your room you need two really one is sufficient but I like to have two one on each side of the room so this fan um, is, I threw the box down, but anyhow, I'll link it below. You just put your finger in this little opening. Oh, that's Rosie. You know, I talk about my grand puppy in some of the videos. This is Rosie. Rosie, come here. Want to say hi on the camera? This is little Rosie. We're babysitting her while my stepdaughter, Tori, and her fiance are on a cruise. Um, she's the sweetest little pup. But yeah, anyhow, back to the fan. Uh, you're going to put your finger in there, pick her up, and you can set it down on your table like this and turn it on. It's wireless. It'll only last for about an hour before it dies out. So you want to have it plugged in USB. You like that, Ro? You like that? Um, or you can pick it up and do it this way. And then it's going to telescope out even more. And then it's got a, the little notches here so you can rest your cell phone or something like that on it. Um, yeah, and it has three speeds, slow, medium, and high. Slow, low, that's what I meant. And just to put it back to pack it, easy breezy, pun intended. So that's the fan, and it uses a little um, USB. I think it's a USB-C. Let's see, it's right here. Yes, USB-C connection um, to go into the unit and then a USB-A to plug into a brick or a charging port of some sort. So it's pretty easy, compact enough, so lightweight. Got to get you one. And they go on lightning deal a lot. There's not much in this box. Uh, just two items, actually. I think two, maybe three. I have to double check. They pack this uh, plastic pack really tight. Struggling to get these shoes out. And they're in a shoe box. So I got myself another set of the no tie shoe strings. I love these so much. I think this is my fifth set. They are so easy. And the last thing in this pack is a pair of shoes. If you saw one of my videos maybe three videos ago. I hate to say that because the order could be wonky. Um, I'll link it below. But I had a pair of braided slides that I really liked, but I told you they were a little small on me. Also, I thought the heel was a little high for me. Um, but I really liked them. So I found them with a shorter heel and we're going to see if these, in the same size, I did stick with the seven and a half, but I'm going to see if these are a little more forgiving. So I'm going to try them on. They fit very comfortably. I'm going to go with the words like a glove. And um, I am very pleased with the heel height. I will insert a picture of the ad. 
and then I will insert a picture of me with them on. So you can see how they fit a real person and not a model with perfect feet. And if you have really good like 8K televisions, of course, I did not upload this in 8K. But if you have a really good television, you can probably tell I painted my own nails, which looks like a three-year-old painted them blindfolded. But yeah, I'm very pleased with these. And I think they will be very comfortable to walk around in on the cruise ship. I want to wear them not to any excursion or anything like that. That would be ridiculous. But I want to wear them to dinner, you know, um, nothing fancy, just something a little bit nicer than a pair of flip flops. Although my flip flops are Tory Burch and Michael Kors. Um, they're not, you know, anything to shake a stick at. But other than flip flops. So yeah, these are um, comfortable. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. So let's get them off my foot and talk about this for a second. Rosie, do you like them? They're Rosie approved. Um, they are a seven and a half. They have absolutely no smell to them, unlike the others. And <laughs> Rosie, give me a moment. And it gets better. Not only is she barking at the guy across the street, he just pulled out a lawnmower. So this should be interesting to film. Anyhow, not only do they have no smell, they feel like leather. Now, I'm sure if they were leather, they would have um, a leather smell to them. But they feel like leather. So this is, for the price I paid for these, a very decent quality inexpensive shoe from Timu. Um, I'm going to pull out the other one just to see if it's consistent with the right foot. The stitching looks good. Uh, I used to sell shoes back in the day. The toe pad right here is very nice. Um, I don't see any buckling. I don't see glue seeping out. Like I said, the stitching seems nice. I mean, I have to examine them after some wear to see if there's any faulty parts. I mean, there's one space right here where I can see a little bit of a staple. Yeah, but I mean, I, I can't, for the price I paid, I'm not going to squawk at that. I mean, this is a good quality, cheap shoe. The um, padding on the insole here is nice and soft. So we're going to go with um, first impression, five out of five. And we're going to get a wear test and report about them on the cruise video. The cruise happens in just a couple weeks, so the video will happen in a few weeks. Yeah, I'm excited to test these shoes out. Now let's get to Del Sol Solis Sunny in pink. I have these sunglasses already. I bought them in Costa Maya, Mexico, I believe, on a cruise a year or two ago, maybe two years ago. And they're some of my favorite sunglasses. Um, I've purchased several pairs of Del Sol sunglasses. And um, they have a lifetime guarantee. And what's great about that lifetime guarantee is that on the side of the box that will stay covered, <laughs> there is a code that if anything happens to your glasses, you go to the little website, type in your code, and they will replace the uh, sunglasses for just the cost of shipping, which I think right now is up to $15.95. And uh, for the cost of the sunglasses, I think if you go to the website and purchase them, they're much less expensive than going to the tourist stores in the Caribbean. Um, maybe half the price or a third of the price. So there's a little tip for you. If you want some Del Sol sunglasses, go to the website. But you don't get the variety of choices 
that you do in the store. I'm going to tell you that right now. The variety of choices are in the stores. Um, and I, I have maybe six or seven pair. Um, but these are by far the pair I wear the most. And I was lazy one day and just threw them in my purse. And the next time I put them on, I had a big scratch on the lens. And boy, is that annoying. It is very annoying. So I went ahead and ordered a replacement pair. And here they are. Every pair comes with, from my experience, this exact same case. It's metal ish. I mean, this could be some sort of a really good plastic that comes off as metal. Um, and it's lined with a velveteen. They all come with this protective case, which if I would have thrown mine in the protective case or on my visor clip that I keep in my car, I wouldn't have gotten the scratch. But here they are. And again, this is the Solis Sunny in pink. These don't change color in the sun. Um, there are a few pair that they have that don't change color in the sun. Um, <clears throat> and this is one of them. This is the retail price and the price that I paid when I was in store. So you can see why I wanted to get them replaced. And these are some, again, of my favorite glasses. They all come polarized. Um, I don't think the children's glasses come with the warranty and come with the polarized lenses. All of their lenses are glued in so they are not going to fall out. Um, I didn't know that until I went to my eye doctor and said, can you put my prescription lenses in these frames? Because I love them that much. And they said, no, Del Sol are the one of one of the few frames we cannot put your lenses into. So. You know, wah, wah. so in summary, I just love these sunglasses. And if you go to any of the Dell Soul retailers in the Caribbean or anywhere in the world, I highly recommend you get a pair, at least one pair. They will last you a lifetime. And the experience, if you've never done it, to go online and exchange is not mail back your sunglasses and you'll get a pair it's literally keep the pair that's broken or with the scratch or whatever you keep your glasses or if you've lost your glasses just make sure you keep your box the box with the i'm gonna flip this the box with the code on it i'm not gonna let you see it but it's on the side like this keep your box um your box is what you're going to need, so don't ever throw that away. Um, you just pay the shipping, and they send you another pair of glasses. And then that pair of glasses is where the warranty will pick up, so keep the box from the new pair. Then you can throw out the old pair's box and keep the new pair's, and that warranty just carries on from pair to pair. So if this pair gets damaged, I can use this box to get another pair. So I will have I, that one pair of glasses I purchased is a forever pair of sunglasses. No lie, a forever pair of sunglasses for $119. No tax, no duties, because I purchased it while on my carnival cruise. Yeah, so that's that. And if you have any questions about Del Sol, um, I, I'm not saying this to brag. I mean, I've been on 35 cruises. Um, 30 of them have been Carnival. So if you have any questions about Carnival cruises and you need me to put you in touch with someone that can help you with the cruise, let me know. I've also been on Royal Caribbean, Princess, and Norwegian. Um, Royal Caribbean twice, Norwegian twice, and Princess once. But I can put you in touch with people if I don't know the answer to a question. Um, let me know. And if you have questions about Del Sol, I buy a lot of stuff there. I go shopping there every trip and buy stuff. So, um, yeah, let me know. I will be happy to answer them. 
The next thing we have is Mighty Fix. I love my subscription to Mighty Fix. I will leave a link below if you've never um, heard of Mighty Fix or if you've heard of them and never tried them and you want to try. So go check it out. It's totally worth it. And I don't even remember what I picked for this month's subscription. So let's find out together. Yeah, you go pick your Mighty Fix, and they do different levels. You can do the regular Mighty Fix. I think that's like $11 a month. Um, then you can bump it up and pay a little bit more and get the Mighty Fix Plus or whatever it's called, and you can get more stuff uh, or a more expensive item. But even if you only have the $11 one and you want to get a more expensive item, they actually will tell you when you look at the, when you're scrolling through the fixes, that's what they call it when you're picking your fix. Um, it's also called Mighty Nest. They're the same thing. Um, when you're picking your fix for the month, you can scroll through the list and it'll say plus a certain amount of dollars and you can pick something that's more than $11 for your, um, your fix for that month and just pay the extra. So you're not stuck with just, you know, $11 items and they aren't $11 items. You're just paying $11 for the subscription cost and you're getting things that are worth more than $11. So let's see what I got this month. Um, okay, it says, I got this month we blow past disposable tissues in favor of a sustainable old school refinery of cloth handkerchiefs in a modern clever case with the last, tish last tissue pack by last object. Convenience and sustainability pair perfectly in this pocket size Six pack of reusable organic cotton tissues. The last tissue pack features a utilitarian silicone case that makes the soft, lightweight organic cotton tissues easy to use and carry for your everyday drips and drops. Ew. Pull a cloth from the slit in the bottom of the pack, then place the used cotton back into the latch top where it sits on a silicone barrier that separates the clean from the dirties. Easy to rinse and quick to dry on the go. When needed, six go a long way. Each ultra thin yet absorbent cloth replaces more than 500 single use tissues. Now that's nothing to sneeze at. Use and care. Perfect for runny noses and watery eyes, freshening up makeup, dabbing up drips and drops or spills, cleaning glasses, screens and lint. And they are lint free. They're cotton cloths. You can rinse them under the faucet, machine wash warm to hot, and line dry to disinfect. They recommend in the sun if you'd like to bleach them in the sun. Wash in a mesh laundry bag to extend the life. The silicone case is dishwasher safe. Okay. They're designed in Denmark, produced in China by Smita, an ethical audit certified manufacturer. Um, each last tissue pack replaces over 3,100 disposable paper tissue packs. And let's see. That's about all I can read off the little information card. Hey, Rosie, do you approve? We're going to go with that's a yes. Okay. So this is what the case looks like, the packaging. Nice, cute Very um, organic looking. And this is the awfully cute silicone packaging for the last tissue. So the slit to pull the tissue out is here at the bottom. And you'll pull the cloth tissue out. And this is what the tissue looks like. My days, they called them hankies. And it's a decent size and it's... I mean, you can hear that, can you? That is a very, um, I could have used this last week when I had the flu. I don't know if any of you noticed on the last video, I was a little uh, wound down. That was my first day of being alive to the world. But this is really nice. And I mean, I have a, oh, hi, Rosie. I have a light on and you can't really see through. I mean, I've got a. The, the lights and I can't I mean this is really good um, thread count 
So yeah, and then what you would do is lift this latch. Rosie, please. Lift the latch, and they've got this little... Oops. <coughs> My goodness. Don't know what she sees. So you would just take your little tissue. And see, that's how you refill it. I see there. So we take your little latch. It's a silicone barrier, they say. I guess that's the barrier. Hold on. Pull a cloth from the slit and place the used cloth back into the latch top where it sits. Oh, I see. Okay, so you push it down because there's the where you refill them when you fold them. So you take this little barrier and you push it down and you'll take your dirty and kind of smush it in there. And as you pull one out, it makes space for the next dirty. Okay. And then you just latch it back. And there you go. That's a pretty cool little invention. Um, and I never have to buy disposable tissues again. And I can wash these. I usually wash all of my towels with bleach but all of my tea towels and kitchen towels that's what I use in the kitchen of tea towels with uh, vinegar hot water and vinegar so I would wash them these with my kitchen towels yeah this is I really could have used this last week okay well we're approaching a pretty good place to stop I suppose and like I said, I'll link everything below. I will link the couple of items I got from Team U. I will link the Del Sol information and I will link the Mighty Fix information. And I'm going to link some videos for you guys. And oh, and I did change out my pillow. The next holiday coming up is Father's Day. My father, rest his soul, has passed on. I miss him very much. But you know, we've got my husband. And my father-in-law to celebrate. And my two brothers-in-law. And my sister's Irishman. Her partner is one of the funniest people I've ever met. So maybe one day he'll let me feature him on the channel. Oh, that would be a treat. So shout out to Pips. And uh, I know he's watching. And I'm glad you guys got to meet Rosie Rowe. Rosie, come on up, Rosie. Say goodbye to everybody. She's watching the guy cut the grass. Rosie, you don't want to say bye-bye? This is the best you're going to get, folks. Oh, look, there she is. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's little teeny tiny Timu Tuesday video. And I will see you guys on the next one. And don't forget that I love you more than gumbo. Bye. Mwah.